Hey guys, Retro Reviews here again with another Transformers video review, and this time I am doing the Generations Fall of Cybertron Shockwave, who looks phenomenal. I gotta admit, I do love this figure. He's a jet like he is in the first two games. Very nice, very sleek looking jet. Looks overall awesome. And he is quite possibly my favorite one in the wave one of the Generations Fall of Cybertron figures. So, very nice detailing. A lot of purple. And then pink painted in right there. Some black pieces right up here, which become his feet later. Nice silver bit right here, which we'll get into that later. And then nice translucent pink uh, windscreen whatever you want to call that for his jet mode because and then the thruster which is smushed because in the game it is perfectly circular that is smushed so eh, nothing they can really do about that no landing gear because he's a Cybertronian jet he doesn't need landing gear so Let's go ahead and get him transformed. So first thing we want to do is get the wings folded up, separate this bit, take this whole piece off, I'll become a gun for later, we'll set that aside for right now. Take these panels and fold them down and there's a little hole right there with a peg right there for it to fit in. So. Go ahead and line them up. Is that lined up right? Nope, there it goes. And then fold the toe down. Do the same over on this side. All right. Then stand them up. We get to the torso part. We get to fold these, straighten them out separate them out because they're going to become the arms. Fold these pieces forward and then rotate these pieces around and come under here and fold out fist. Straighten it up and then do the same over here. Straighten it up. Then take this piece and it's going to fold all the way around and then when it snaps down, his head pops up, and then lock the shoulders into the side. And there we have Shockwave. Very, very nice looking in this mode. Now, between the transformation and both of his modes, you guys can see why I call this one my favorite one out of Wave 1. So, that, go ahead and look at his gun, which is which isn't shown in the game unless you get the DLC content, I believe. But, uh, if you do have this in the game, it's for campaign use only. It is an awesome gun. I'll just say that. So, which he, there's a peg hole for him to hold it in either hand. And then this also comes off and is a tri-barrel blaster. It can also go over here on this peg and be used for storage. Or this guy being shockwave. Nobody else will want it any other way than fold this hand in. And then there is a notch right there and no I don't believe that notch is gonna hit but there is a slot right there and you can do this on either or it doesn't matter but it just connects in right there and there we have shockwave with his menacing laser cannon for an arm like we know him to be which just looks amazing And also does give the whole their arms transforming into the guns like they do in the game. So that is pretty cool too. So 
articulation, or let's get into light piping, because in wave one, he's the only one who has light piping. So, take a look at that. It's not showing up right well. Well, I guess it is, so, yeah. There you can see it showing up. This purple eye lens, which does disappoint me a little bit because it's not green like in the game, but oh well. Side-by-side -side comparison with Optimus Prime. Good size. Optimus is just short, so let me get him out of the way. Put Jazz there. Looks very nice. But he is just awesome. If you can still find Shockwave, Shockwave was the hardest one for me to find. I didn't get him until a month after I got Jazz and Optimus, so... If you can still find him, good luck to you. Oh, and I forgot to mention, he does have a decept little itty bitty Decepticon symbol right down there. See? And, ooh, I forgot his articulation. How oh, could I? <laughs> so, his head does rotate around. It's not on a ball joint like the other two, but it is on a uh, spring base, which if you can you can kind of look up and down if you cheat shoulders 90 degree or a swivel right there which can move 100 or 360 degrees as long or if the wing wasn't in the way and then they bend out then a bend here in the elbow and then a ball joint on the elbow a hinge in the wrist which is for transformation I don't consider that a articulation point Hips are on a ball joint, no thigh swivel, knees bend, no ankle articulation. Although he is one of my favorites, he is the least articulated out of wave one. So if you want articulation, get Optimus. If you want detail, get Jazz or Shockwave. But get Shockwave, of course, because Shockwave is just awesome. Unless you don't like Shockwave, then get Jazz, but yeah, I'm just rambling now. So, this is Raptor Reviews. I hope you guys like this video review, and I'll see you again next time.